I've been putting it off long enough. Today we're replacing the valve cover gaskets on the Suburban and it's already getting late. We're losing daylight and so I've got to hurry. Super Clean was nice enough to send over a little care package. We got a bunch of good stuff in there. Uh, I actually already use Super Clean products, so it was nice that they sent me over some uh, different ones to try out. Um, I've never tried this one before, and so I went ahead and tried it. It's a spray foaming degreaser, and these valve cover gaskets have been leaking for a long time, and it was so grungy and grimy all over the valve covers. I didn't want to get all that junk you know, get some of it inside the head. So I went ahead and just sprayed it down and I just hit it with a water hose. And, you know, it it really, you can see where, you know, I couldn't get it sprayed real well under the uh, spark plug boots and then probably under the coil packs, it's still grungy. But anywhere else had a good surface where I could spray. I mean, it, it came clean, uh, really did a nice job see this side too i mean it it was oily and gritty it was nasty you can see they're they're grungy they're leaking so really great job great products check them out so what we got to do to get these valve covers off pull the little blue clip out and we're gonna undo this big plug here. Now this is the plug for all the coil packs. So you don't have to unplug them individually. You can just undo this big center plug. What that'll get you is the little wiring harness for the coil packs themselves stays with the coil pack bracket. Then you're gonna undo each plug wire. I'm just gonna pull them off and I'm gonna leave them attached to the spark plugs. So we're gonna go through that. I'll go through and do that on every single one We'll do the same thing on both sides. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these 10 millimeters off. These studs that are sticking up, those are gonna come off. There's one, uh, two, three, four, looks like five. Uh, there, 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 and there. Those will come off. And then we'll be able to take the coil packs off with the bracket. And then we can get to these four uh, bolts that hold the uh, valve cover on. So I'm just gonna set up time lapse and I'm gonna try to fly through this quickly. If I see any other you know, points of interest as far as you know, showing y'all things, um, I'll point them out. But uh, we're gonna start on this side passenger side and then we'll flip on over to the driver's side uh, i'll do one side completely before i move over to the other side <laughs>
223,000 miles. Look how clean it is. We'll see if the other side's as clean. Uh, I think one side of these gets dirtier than the other side. So this probably is the cleaner side. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, 223,000 miles. It looks super clean. I'm running Mobile One high mileage synthetic 10W30. Um, there are some wire clips you gotta undo up there. Uh, I just took a screwdriver, undid the clip, pulled the wire loom out. Uh, there's also uh, the heater hose bracket is on one of the studs that the coil mount uh, is on. So you take the nut off, pull the heater bracket off, then take the, the stud out. Um, other than that, I think that's it. We did it with a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter. The coil mounts are 10 millimeter and the valve cover are eight. So 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. Uh, that one back in there is kind of hard to get into or get to. I used a, a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench to get in there. There's just not much room. You can't really get a socket on it. Uh, we can see what the other side looks like if we'll have that same kind of issue. And it looks a little easier on this side. We might actually be able to get a socket on this side. Um, this side is going to be very similar to the other side. Uh, we've got the PCV uh, tube on this one. I think, did I mention the tube that runs to the intake on this one? There's a tube right here. You have to, that goes into the valve cover. Just push it out, pick, push it off. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna clean up and get a rag. Uh, there's a little bit of, see a couple little pieces we're gonna clean up in there. And then I'm gonna go through and wipe down this surface, the, the gasket mating surface. The valve cover is cleaned up. Uh, use just some more of that uh, foaming cleaner and then a little brush. I didn't go crazy with cleaning it. There's still some grit on it but um, most of that's under the coil brackets anyway. I'm just trying to hurry, like I said. So it's ready to go back on. We're gonna have to uh, pull these off. I bought the valve cover gaskets that came with the grommets. My grommets were leaking. I would recommend while you're at it, just spend the extra few bucks and get the grommets with the valve cover gasket. The one that I'm using is, I like Velpro, so there's the part number. I'll put a link in the description. This came from Amazon. Uh, they were a couple bucks more than Rock Auto. Uh, they were much cheaper than local auto parts store. Like I said, a couple bucks more than Rock Auto, but once I added shipping, Rock Auto was more expensive. So got these on Amazon. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these out real quick. We're gonna put the new ones in. Then we're gonna pop our new uh, valve cover gasket in and then we'll put this one back on.
hopefully it's not washing out the video too much. So on this side, you've got the PCV valve in the back. Just pull it out. Uh, if you have not updated to the newer style PCV valve, which is just an orifice, um, now's the time to do it. I did this one a while back. That was one of the ways, uh, or one of the causes that was believed to be uh, oil consumption on these. They went to just an orifice instead of a, uh, you know, rattling PCV valve. And so I updated this one to the orifice when I first bought this thing. And so I just took it out and just cleaned it. Um, there's no need to replace it. All it is, it's just a, it's got a little pinhole uh, in it, you know, for the, um, so it can suck the uh, crankcase ventilation, you know, ventilation in, back into the intake. Anyway, um, so I cleaned that, you know, pull that out. You're gonna have to pull it out anyway to to do this, you might as well clean it if you've got that style or update it if you do not. Um, let's see, pretty much straightforward on this side. Kind of had to move this wire loom around to kind of get in there. Um, wasn't too bad. The um, There is one wire clip in there you have to undo. Uh, the other side had two. I think I forgot to mention something on the other side I thought about later. Maybe I'll think of it again. Uh, spark plug wires are back on. One thing, oh, those little rubber grommet things. Uh, just pull the old ones off and they're kind of hard to get off. Uh, to get the new ones on, I found it easiest to spray them with some penetrating oil, slip them on your bolt first, and then put them in the valve cover. That seemed to be the best way to do it. To hold the valve cover gasket on, I used, uh, this is transmission assembly goo. Well, it's just assembly goo, but uh, it's made really to be used on transmissions. You could use some high tack stuff or whatever. You really need something to kind of hold that gasket on there, or it's you're gonna be risking it falling off as you try to fish this down in there. Um, it doesn't want to stay put. It's a little bit tight, so it tries to pull itself back out. Um, you could use some RTV silicone if you um, let it tack up a little bit. Um, just something, don't go crazy with it. You know, just a few spots around the perimeter just to, or yeah, around the perimeter, just to kind of hold, hold it in place and keep it from falling out. Uh, like I said, this stuff worked good. This is the green stuff, it's really thick. You could probably even use some wheel bearing grease if nothing else, just something tacky. Uh, something just to kind of make it stick in there. If you use RTV, like I said, don't go crazy with it. Um, it doesn't, you don't need RTV for these gaskets to seal, you know, they, the rubber seals. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you plug all your wires back in. I'm trying to think if they're, I thought I missed something on this side. Um, I think I mentioned that tube and yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I mentioned everything. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe for more. One other quick note, crank it up, check for leaks, get a light in there, especially in the back corners. Uh, let it run for a little bit before you go drive it and you know, check for leaks, you know, before you get away from home.